guys welcome you in code java interview question and answer in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about one of the very important java multi-threaded interview question and here is the question how will you configure custom sized thread pool for a stream parallel operation in java 8 so guys before proceeding let me tell you java does not provide any direct mechanism to control the number of threads and thread pool used by the parallel method in stream api yeah but there are two indirect way to configure the same so here let's first discuss and we'll see practical example as well so here you can see two indirect way to configure custom sized uh, thread pool for a stream parallel operation in java 8 so when we talk about the first approach uh, you can use you can configure default common pool right so it's documented that parallel method utilizes a common pool available per class loader per jvm right and we have a mechanism to control control the configuration of the default common pool using uh, below system properties so we have a property is called java.util.concurrent.fork join pool.common.parallelism right and uh, this parallelism level uh, can be only non-negative integer means always you will have to provide the positive number right so we'll see uh, one example and second approach uh, you can run the parallel operation inside a custom fork join pool itself so let's try to understand these two things through a practical example so here just to save some time i have already created a couple of example and we'll try whatever we have discussed in the slide so then we discuss about the first approach then here you can see uh, just i'm going to explain you each and every lines of the code so here just i have uh, noted down the starting point of execution of this application and that's what we have a current time in milliseconds right uh, in system class we have a current time milli so it gives you the starting point of uh, this application now we have a, a stream api provides us a uh, int stream right so we have a method is called range there you can specify the starting point and last point right so this will generate a number uh, starting from 0 to 19 right so starting is inclusive and uh, um, i mean and is exclusive so this will generate a number from 0 to 19 right now we got the int stream uh, now here we have to uh, as we, we have discussed in the slide we have to set the system property these properties and there you can specify the positive number as a string right so here i have uh, provide the parallelism five so there 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 would be a five uh, basically uh, thread will be created in the pool and that will be used to execute my task now uh, int stream has a method is called parallel right so in a stream api we have a parallel method and there we are trying to we will try to use a parallelism right now we call the for each method and this i is nothing but the number 0 from 0 to 19 right and we have written our basically lambda expression or java 8 right so here we are just making slip every uh, thread uh, in the pool for one millisecond right so one second it's not one millisecond it's a uh, 1000 milliseconds means one second and here just i'm printing the name of the uh, thread which is in the pool right here not we are making use of this value of i so uh, just this is an example how to how to make use of the parallelism that's it so here you can execute your task suppose let's say if you want to play with the uh, value of i right if you pass this uh, value to the some other method and do some processing right or if you can write some custom uh, code over here to complete your task by the multiple uh, thread threads in the pool right so now just here just i'm printing the uh, basically name of the thread in the pool that's it and when we come out from the within the basically is loop itself just i'm taking the end time just i'm uh, re recording the end time and just we are printing time in milliseconds so it's start in time minus start time and that's the milliseconds time given to you that's i'm going to print so let's run this application and see how output we get now here you can see pool of size we have given this five so here you can see thread one right two uh three four and uh, fifth uh, so this is the basically thread name in the pool right 
so every thread name starts from the fork join pool and uh, name is given in the such a way common pool worker one two three four five right and my task is going to execute by the all the uh, basically uh, threads in the pool right here you can see so my task got executed right so that's the way basically we can make advantage of uh, parallelism when you use uh, basically parallel method right so directly if you call parallel method then this is if you do not set this system uh, property then this is not gonna make use of the basically uh, parallelism so that's the thing you should keep in mind now second example here you can see while creating the fork join itself right so here you can pass your parallelism means number of thread in the pool so if you go to the constructor here you can see so this is a parallelism is nothing but the parallelism and second parameter is uh, it's called fork join worker thread factory and and that is and fourth point uh, sorry third parameter you can pass the uncaught exception handler if if thread is running the background if you want to handle the exception then you can define your own basically custom exception handler and finally uh, basically fourth property is nothing but whether you want to execute uh, your uh, uh, fork join pool in the asynchronous fashion or synchronous so by default it is asynchronous right uh, sorry by default it is synchronous sorry so now let's come back so we have we got the uh, an instance of fork join pool and a fork join pool just we are calling the submit method and here we are we have we are just passing the uh, basically a runnable task right so in runnable task just we have we are taking the number starting from one to till uh, this is uh, basically one one hundred thousand right so last uh, last last number is last range is exclusive so this will uh, uh, take number starting from one to basically ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine right and just we are calling the parallel method so here you can see how we are going to make use of the parallelism and here we, we just we have called the filter method and here we have defined a method is called is prime uh, and this this basically method is written in the uh, java 8 fashion right here you can see so this is basically checking every number whether that is a prime or not right if that is a prime right then that will be stored in the this list so we have call collectors dot to list this will returns us the list when we call the gate method right so and this list finally we are printing using java 8 for each loop so this will basically print a number from this range so in this range whatever numbers are prime number all numbers are getting printed and don't forget to call shutdown method basically this method was supposed to call in the finally block but just i have written the code uh, very quickly and just I have I'm closing but you don't forget to call this method within the finally block if I run this application you will see how quickly this application runs see so because of the parallelism so multiple threads running in the background and that's completes our task so here basically you can see number starting from one so lowest prime number is two then three five all the prime numbers are starting from one two till highest uh, whatever range we have provided all the prime numbers are getting printed on the console and how quickly this task gets completed because we are making use of the parallelism right even if you want to make uh, increase the basically range then if you see how quickly this application completes the task now here you can see so now here uh, here some of the basically output uh, has been hidden right so there is some limit for the console eclipse console so initial some prime numbers have been hidden in the console but here basically this is printing all the prime numbers between one to one million right so that's all i have in this video tutorial i hope you enjoy learning this video i'm expecting this information is helpful for you from interview point of view or as well as if you are working on any current project and there if you want to use or making if you want to make use of the parallelism then in this way you can make and application of performance would be improved so guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial